Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at my father looking all handsome and dashing! <laughs> Do you know, Daddy? This is exactly what I've always wanted for him in the last seven years. Daddy, you look so good. I must thank you. This is all you. Thank you so much. You know I can never allow him to be lost in the past. Not when I'm around. This life is so beautiful and full of memories. So allow the past to control his existence. Yes, my friend, I completely agree with you. And I would have loved to go out with you, but, but I have this project that I must complete because I leave for the US in four days. It's so frustrating. Have fun, Daddy. Thank you. But do not get him drunk. No, 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 no. I won't. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daddy. I know you're not fully fit for this phase. I promise. I won't let him get drunk. And I won't be coming back. Okay. Take him away. Don't come back, Eddie. I won't. Stay. Oh, my What do you like me to prepare for you? Um, just make beans and fried plantain, then make some very spicy fish. You know how I like it. Alright? Okay. Thank you for everything you've done for me, especially today. I want you to marry me and bring every void in my heart to completion. Um, Chief, I'm not ready to settle down again. What is it? That Chivamako cannot provide for you. What is it? Nothing. Just say yes. And I'll bring the dreams of your life to completion. Um, Chief, listen. I know you're more than capable to take care of me. It's not really about the money. I want to explore life. Since I lost my husband, I'm not sure I'm ready to settle down again now. But um, just give me some time. Maybe with, with time, I might change my mind. All right, I'll give you some time. But I think it's in your best interest to say yes. Let me help you realize the full potentials of what your life should be. I'm your best deal. Forget to call me immediately. You arrive in the United States. Of course, Daddy. And most importantly, be serious with your studies. That's why you're in the U.S. Yes. Do not drown yourself in merriment that you forget the daughter of who you are. You must remember and take a picture of what this place looks like and make it better. 
like they say, enjoyment be like church project, you know, you know they finish. finish. <laughs> hmm? Yes, daddy. Of course, daddy. I absolutely remember the, the daughter of whom I am. And I have to build my own legacy in order to continue from where you stop. Very good. All right. Give me a hug. Yes. And off you go. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you, daddy. I'm Tina, please. Yes. Take care of my father. You know, okay. if, if all I've got in this world came out, I will do that. I'll take care of you. All right. Okay, Run along so you don't get uh, miss your flight. All right, daddy. I'll call you. Sure. Please. Are we here? Bye! <laughs> Bring me down. I'm sorry I can't help you. I can't. I have somewhere I need to be. Okay, give me 10 minutes. I mean, okay, 3 minutes. I can do it uh, chicken style through the way I've come. Okay, let's do it this way. Let me go and do what I have to do. I'll come back later. I'll spend the night and you have me as you want. Promise you come back? Yes. Huh? See? Let me drop you off now. No, 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 Take a taxi. Hey. She won't come back. What can she wear? Babe, who is this constant caller that wants to drain your battery? Please, take the call or you off the phone. The noise is disturbing. I'm just off this phone. It's this, this old man that will not let me rest. Eh? He thinks if it's not because of his money, I will stoop this low to be with him or do anything with him. Really? So, why don't you divine a means of getting huge money from him? So that we can elope to another country and start up a life. I love the idea. Perfect idea. You know what? I'm going to walk towards it. Really? Mm hmm That's good. Perfect. Okay, so now, where is my birthday gift? Mm. Your birthday gift? Mm -hmm. Okay, should I say, let's start from the other room. Ooh, yes. black boy. Like. Let's go there. Okay. I'll give it to you. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm okay, so we just leave this here. Yeah. Oh, wait, well, just hold on. Let me get to the room. No, 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 no. Uh, I'll oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's go. <laughs> 
Lucy, did you switch off on me or you dropped the phone? So you have not eaten your dinner. It's getting cold. Are you forcing me to eat? Knowing my frame of mind right now? So it's not like that. Just that eating your dinner later in the night, it's no good. It causes... Don't tell me whatever it causes. Get out. Dina, I said get out. Shot on staff are on the construction site and the operation. Speak to Mr. Maxwell. But, sir, the approval is yours to. Oh, what is this? Can't I have peace in my office? Speak to Mr. Maxwell. But, sir, you just want Get to. Get out! Get out! Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. What happened yesterday? Why did you switch off your phone that Chief Amako have to call me on phone? So that woman also called you. Called him, Momo, yet you keep on hanging around him. You and I know that you don't love Chief Amako, but Amobi. Why don't you leave him and free yourself? Madam Advisor, I have heard you. Thank you. I know you will not listen to me. But what really happened yesterday? Oh, yeah. You know, yesterday was my birthday. Yes. I already made plans to spend it with my Amobi. Mm -hmm. Only for Chief Amako to call me. He asked me to come over. On getting there, it happened that he planned this party for me. With some of his friends at his place. But that wasn't even the problem. The problem was he wanted to make love to me after the party. You refused? Of course, I told you I already had plans with my Amobi. See, eh, Chief is a very good and generous man, no doubt. But I cannot marry an old man like him. You already know I'm there for just his money. Once I've gotten enough, I'm going to leave him. Sweetheart. I'm really sorry about what happened yesterday. You know, I, I totally forgot I made you a promise. Do you even know why you were calling me? My phone tripped off. Besides, I was having this stomach upset. I, I don't know. I, I think it was because of too much cake I ate. It's okay. Twitter is not all right. You didn't even call me like you always do. Every morning when you wake up, you're not married to him. You know, you're still angry with me. It's not so. It is so. I know how you behave. Anyway, it's alright. I am here for you. It's alright, my love. It's alright. Share off with you. Sweetheart, just smile. Smile. Ooh. <laughs> Do you want to have it this night before it to be enough for you? See, not just once. You're making it look like I've had it all night. And that once is not enough for you. Please, I want to sleep. 
Do you really have a feeling for me? If I don't have feelings for you, then what am I doing here with you? Chief, what do you take me for? A call girl? Yes. A call girl. That is why anytime I come here, all you want us to do is have sex. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's go to sleep. No. Nobody's going to sleep. You have to tell me what you mean by do I really have feelings for you? Nobody's sleeping, oh, tell me. Thank you very much, sweetheart. You deserve it. Okay. Keep it there. Let me ease myself up. my phone you lied to me that your phone was switched off while you were in the arms of another man Lucy what have I not done for you I have loved you I have cared for you I have cleaned up your financial mess done everything for you yet you refuse to now I see the reason you refuse to marry me you don't have any right to go through my phone. That's my privacy. You don't have any right to invade it like you just did. I In don't like it. Invade your privacy? That's all that matters to you? Get out of my house right now. You don't deserve being here. Get out. I give you seven minutes to get out of here. You should be ashamed of yourself. Cut you chicken. All right, where are you going to? I'm fresh up. Fresh up where? My friend, she here, toss up. Come out from here. Freshen up and move out. Get out. Get out. I will leave. I was only managing an old man like you. Managing an old man? Have you ever defeated me on this bed? Look at you. Financially reckless. If you stay more than one minute, I'll do what I will regret. Come on. Get out! 
What that nonsense? I caught you. And all you could say is invasion of your privacy. Shit! That's what you are. Who is that idiot? Yes, mm. what is it? Good morning, sir. I brought your food. Into my bedroom. Yes, sir. Sir, you have been eating here for weeks now. Don't start making it right. Please, sir. My friend, take that into the dining room fire. I'm sorry. They can make work. I can't do this anymore. I just can't. Hey, you see that man? That man is a monster and a sadist. He doesn't deserve to live with anyone in this house. Hey! Well, 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 well. Are you going to cut down on a man of heaven? Are you going to cut down on a Oh, heaven is a rose on a man of heaven. I'm going to get spirit. Oh, sorry. I forgot you don't understand the language. Calm down now. What's in a dry daily busy? Is that dog where you don't talk now? You don't make me enter the spirit realm. And I see RIP. I see Mutuari. I see gone so soon. Meaning that if you leave Oka now, Oka go die. Yes! If you leave Oka now, Oka go die. You are the reason why Oka is still living. Yes! In case you don't know, you are a child of grace. Yes! If you leave Oka now, oh, Oka will die. You have been doing wonders. Since the wife died and the daughter travel abroad. Ngoma. That reminds me. Holy Spirit said, make her ask you a question. What happened to his girlfriend? Why did she stop coming? That one. How will I know? I'm telling you that this man is a sadist. See, what I'm trying to say is that I'm not staying in this house again. I will go. Hey! When a child of destiny is talking like that, what do you want me to say? I am only for the channel. I told you I'm a spiritual man. Yes, let me tell you what you don't know. You are the only one that have stayed with Oka for a long time. Since he lost his wife. Yes. In case you don't know, this man was a very nice man. If they want to talk about people that are nice, you see my father, that is a cheerful keeper in the village. He is not nice like this man. Chief was a very nice man. But ever since the wife died, she became a terror. Terror of the forest. Udo Kubop, a demigi si bear and Oh, sorry, I said this man was not like this. So please don't leave him. If you leave him, this man will die. That is what I see in my vision. Holy Spirit, talk to me. I've warned you to stop speaking this your language. It's not my fault. I am a spiritual traditional man. I cannot do without my language. Spiritually, I am there. Traditionally, I am there, which is my tongue. It's not as if I don't want to stay. Eh? But Chief is making things difficult for me in this I house. Are you not seeing it? Eh? I cannot stay. I need to leave. Okay, please, can you do me a favor? What is it? Promise you do it for me. Should I tell you I get two children for village? Where my where the mama run live. Mm -hmm. Now only me they take care of. And now car they pay me. If a car pay me, I could they send all the money. I make a day like person where no get destiny. Because I don't get any other money to take care of myself. Do you understand? If you live now, car could die. And if you can't die, my destiny appa is dead. Please stay with him till the daughter returns. Or do you want the daughter to come and be a fatherless? No. Yes, my spirit is telling me that your conscience is judging you right now. Your conscience is telling you, Tina, stay. Tina, stay. Tina, stay. Thank you, 
Jesus, <laughs> you think about it. This will come by testimony. Say that the chairman do you all my way Jesus. Say that the chairman do you all my way Jesus. I don't have an offering. I don't even have an offering. Sorry, eh? You don't have money. I don't have money. You guys will pay us very soon. Tina, Tina. Tina, what did you go to? Nothing. And what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry. My friend, will you move out from my way? She gave me a strict instruction not to allow me to his office. So you better turn back and take your leave. Chief cannot give you such order. My friend, will you go inside and tell Chief I am here to see him? I'm sorry, I can't do that because I'm not ready to lose my job because of you. So you better leave now or I call the security on you. Like seriously? Are you trying to insult me? Do you know I can have you lose this job like now? Yes, I know. So I will wait until then. So now, take your leave. That lady looked me in my face and threatened to call security on me. The audacity. I swear I'm going to make her cry blood to keep that job of hers. Don't you think Chief was the one that gave her such order, considering what happened the last time we were with him? Chief loves me so much. He cannot just end this just because of one mistake. Instead of you keep calling him on phone, why not go to his house since he's rejecting your calls? Don't worry, I'll make a chance to can say. I saw so you they talk, you'll make a chance, you'll make a chance. But single thing say you're busy. You don't know say you don't get any job with you. Do not just say they walk and walk about. Excuse you. You don't come to my house and insult me. Don't try it. Calm down there. I know you. Insult me. Don't try it. Let's get the last time for pounds. I don't understand. What don't you understand? What is the meaning of this? Sir, you asked me to stop serving you with that you now prefer Simo. What? Come on, get out of Get this out of there before I, I, I... Are you crazy? I'm sorry, sir. I heard you weeping last night. I um, want to render my apologies for the way I've spoken to you. I've been under pressure. So please accept my uh, apologies. No need to apologize, sir. It's fine. Going forward, I'll be more lenient on you. So, um, my apologies once again. Sir, I'm really sorry for your loss. I was told yesterday, made it seven years your wife left you. I've lost someone so dear to me. So I know the kind of pain you are going through right now. People go through pains and behave as if nothing happened. And I ask myself, do they truly heal?
Nothing can ever heal us from the pain of losing someone so dear to us. Absolutely nothing, sir. We just ask God for the strength so we can live every each day of our life and move on from it. As for the pains, it will always be in our mind because we created memories with the person. You speak like someone who has gone through pains. Have you lost anyone? My father. I, I dealt with the pain of losing my father after so many years, sir. He was so dear to me. But I moved on from it, sir. Look at me here today, living my life. Sir, please, move on with your life. Learn from me. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words. You may go back to your duty post now. Okay, sir. Thank you. Madam, good afternoon. Open the gate, I'm here to see my man chief. Yeah, Madam, with so much authority. Madam, leave alone my chain, John. I will go up again. Okay, but they say notice now. Across. Anyway, Oga left an instruction with me. Say, Ignatius, don't allow that young lady to enter inside this compound again. Not even inside his parlor. Go inside and tell Oga I'm here. I'm sure he would want to see me. Yeah. I'm going to go to the mosque. Okay, madam, don't worry. Let me go inside and tell him you are here, okay? Madam, Uma Ura ya uga ka vosa nga yong. Megre mi mbukun wandi. Yes. Meaning? Meaning that if you are tired standing, you can go. Because I, Ignatius, will not open this gate for you. Open this gate! Open this gate! Open this gate! I will not open this gate! Because I like my work, I will not open this gate for you. I am only you. Open this gate now. It's like you don't like this job you're doing. Because I don't want to sacrifice, I don't want to open this gate for you. My God, will you open this gate? I will, not open this gate. I will make sure you're fired from this job. No, you cannot fire me. I will not open this gate. For the last time, the very last time, open this from my open this gate. For the very last time, you, I will not open this gate. See, madam, let me tell you, the Bible says, them Jehovah not thy God. Genesis chapter 1, verse 23. I'm going for a wedding, so you take care of the house. What, sir? How can you be going to a wedding? Looking like this. Like how? Your hair, your clothes, your beards looking all white. Yes, because I'm an old man. This is not chalk. It's age. And so, old age doesn't mean you shouldn't be looking younger and cute. Sir, please allow me to transform your look. Do you know, I'm not the one getting married. So I'm cool like this. 
What I need is my presence and my money. Doesn't mean you shouldn't be attending the wedding looking classy. So when you get into the hall, all eyes will be on you. Please. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm. Okay, as long as it won't take time, I won't be late for the wedding. I promise. Let me just trust your judgment. Okay, sir. It won't take time. I'm, I'm coming. Ready. I'm waiting. Transformer. Yes. Okay. Something is missing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, do good. Mm -hmm. Hey. I'm a co. I'm a co. You will. Check yourself out. I'm feeling wonderful that day. I'm whatever. Yeah. Huh. The wedding has ended now. They will hear that Hamaku has come. All eyes will be on you. Oh, yeah, sure. Without any eye that is not on me, please. Have a nice day. Sir. Sir. Yes. <laughs> sir, there is something I have been meaning to ask you. It's just that way that I know they're friendly all these days. But now it's like the sun is shining. Yes. Let me ask, sir. Sir, please, can you help me with come so that I can be using to secure the environment? No problem. Mm -hmm. You go have fun, I'll get you. Eh. I get it for you. Thank you. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Get it again. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. He said it's going to change for the better. <laughs> when I tell you, say, you be child of destiny, you don't believe me. Oh. <laughs>
looks like here. Fruits. Yes, sir. Fruits. That's what you'll be having for dinner for a man of your age. You don't need heavy food for dinner. So I'm really sorry that I didn't ask for your consent before doing this. I can still go back and... Well, it's okay. Um, if that's what you would want me to have at night to avoid um, heavy foods. Well, it's okay. Fruit is it then. Really? So you're not mad at me? Hell no. I'm ready to make all the adjustments to keep fit and uh, move on like you said. Okay, sir. I will be heading back inside the kitchen. Okay. Sir. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is Saturday. Yes. Saturday is weekend and it's meant for workouts. So, sir, I'll be inviting you to join me for a road walk tomorrow morning. You want me to start working out? Hmm. So, you join me so you can burn off some calories and stay fit. But I'm healthy for my age, am I not? You are, sir. But you still need it. So tomorrow morning, I will come by 6 a.m. to wake you up so both of us can go for the road work, sir. All right. I'll be up. I'm waiting for you at 6. Okay, sir. Enjoy. Thank you for this. Mm. Fruits for dinner. I go open a maduro. Thanks to you. I couldn't say no to you when you invited me to join you for the party. I was skeptical at first because it's been longer I attended one. Here we are now. So can we go? Um the dressing is nice, but why not wear the tuxedo we bought the other day? And what is wrong with what I'm wearing? I didn't say anything is wrong with it. I love it. But I want you to look like a young star. Well, I am Chief Amako. I belong to the older generation. Chief Amako. Dressing like a youngster will make you look classic. Please. Well, um, okay. On another occasion, I'll wear a tuxedo. Okay, no problem. On another occasion, you see. So can we go now? All right. <laughs> I know, well, How can Chief do this to me? He had the guts to dump me for an ordinary house elf. As if that was not enough, he brought her to a party he knew I was going to attend. Do you want my sincere advice to you? 
negative anymore. You made your decision long time ago when you decided to open your doors for that poor Amobi. You are an idiot. How dare you speak about him? Call my Amobi names. Are you stupid or what? I'm only telling you the Shut truth. Up. Listen, if you value this friendship, I beg you, mind and pick the things you say to me. Understand? Tropish calling my own. I'm okay. Are you okay? Are you sick? My I'm okay. Thank you for spending the night with me out. You made me feel young again. You are a young old man. <laughs> young old man. <laughs> anyway, Tina, let me let you know something. And thank you for coming into my life. Thank you for giving me a chance to come into your life. You are one hell of a great and special man. I will spend more quality time like this with you. Same here. Um, sir, can I go upstairs and change my clothes? I want to take this off my body. You know what? I think you should wear it all night. Really? It looks so amazing. Hmm? Hmm? Okay then. Then we can get something inside the kitchen. You want to run away? <laughs> No, I'm going back. I was speaking to myself. I know, sir. I've been doing that a lot lately. I do ask myself if what I feel for you is normal. Same question I've been asking myself. I feel drawn to you each passing day. I feel drawn to you too. Despite the age gap. But I still don't think it's insane. No. No, Tina. I'm too old for you. Cool. There are many younger men out there. Look, this guy is too old for you. You two is where I'd rather be. I know you are old, but young as hard. And I love you. It's hard to take this pain. A pain from a broken heart. If your heart's not in it, please don't break what is left of my own It's hard for me to fall in love again <laughs> I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming!
America is so good to you. Yes, it is. My darling. Welcome you, home. Welcome home. Miss you so much. I miss you too. Ah. And then I got all the dollars you keep sending me. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, it's my responsibility. <laughs> Come on, let's get inside. There's a lot to talk about. Yes, there's a lot to talk oh, about. Oh my god. Oh, all right. Me. Thank you. Uh, send your account number. Uh, Linus, thank you. I'll transfer, okay? Oh. I thought we could go together to receive her. Where's Aunt Rose? I don't know how she's going to see me. We've had this discussion before. My daughter is a lovely, ever-smiling person. You're going to love her. Come on, let's go. I'm so scared. Don't be. Don't be. Madison, you are going to be her stepmother. So better start acting it. All right? So love me the way I want you to love me. Be the one, my one, true and only. Hello, darling. You're here. Yes. Good, good. Um, while you were in the States, I wanted to discuss something with you. But in the second third, I said, when you come back, it can, can be discussed. Okay. Um, uh, Tina and I, um, he's my fiancé. What? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> what are you... <laughs> Are you joking? What are you saying? Tina. Tina is your fiancé? Oh, 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 I, I don't understand. Make, make me understand. What I Just left for what? Two years? Three years? And you are engaged to our maid? Daddy! Um, I wanted to discuss this with you, but I didn't want to disturb your studies. Of course! Of course there's no way you would want to disturb my studies with such betrayal! Come on. What is betrayal here? Daddy, what is betrayal? This is betrayal! What about the promises you made my mother on her sick bed? I was there. You promised her that no woman on earth would take her place, so... I, I, I still keep to that. Oh. No woman on earth can take the place of your mother in my heart. But so, a, a man cannot be alone for forever. Daddy, what are you doing with this gold digger then? Huh? Go digger? Yes! I don't even know the circumstance. You're calling her names. I That's know! Me. Daddy, I know very well. I know I understand clearly. I can see it. This woman is a gold digger. Can't you see? And of all the women in the world, why is she a maid? Hold on. What about Lucy? I left you both. You, you, you both are meant to be together. Huh? Why this lady? But, Tasha, I know you have done a 15 hours flight. You are stressed. Calm down. Uh, when the stress is over, we can talk. Yes. Please, calm down. Yes. Calm down, please. Yes. Oh, my God. This is a dream. Yes, it is. It has to be a dream. I'm... Daddy, I'm just going to go into the room, lay down, wake up from this dream. It's a nightmare. I'm sure it's a nightmare.
sweetheart? Daddy. I hope you enjoy your meal. Yes, Daddy. This was specially prepared by her to welcome you back to Nigeria with a special desk delicacy. Mm -hmm. Hmm? <laughs> my love, thank you for doing justice to this. You're welcome, my darling. Um, this is really nice. Mm. I must say, it is so nice. You are good, girl. What did you do to my friend Lucy? No, sorry. <laughs> I want to learn. What sort of voodoo did you use on my dad? I mean, see how he's drooling over you, he made. He made this. This is good. Tell me, what did you do? Huh? Tasha. Daddy. I'm still your father, mind your language. I'm sorry. I just lost my appetite. <laughs> it wasn't even that good anyway. Are you done already? Darling, I knew it. I knew she's not gonna like any of this. Exact reason why I was skeptical the first time you asked me out. Hey, hey, hey. She came from a long distance. And with all the stress. She will come around. Don't bother yourself. I mean, the food is sweet. You're doing very well. I really want to believe this. Better believe it. Eat your food. You did well, and you've done nothing wrong. I came to ask you what you would like me to prepare for you. Oh, as what again? My father's maid. I mean, you should have told me that's who you are to him. Tasha, please, can we not do this? Can we not do this? Well, if you don't want us to do this, just turn around and get out from my room. I don't want to see your ugly face. You just made me wake up to seeing your face. Just, just go. Go ask my father what he wants to eat for breakfast. I'm sure he's the one you're engaged to. Tell me what I'm in the morning. God, I couldn't even just walk up to that ugly face. I 